Hey afternoon guys, uh, welcome to my quick tutorial on uh, prime numbers using Wolfram Mathematica. Um, Wolfram is quite um, efficient in the sense that uh, you don't have to load any packages, you just crack on uh, on the worksheet. So I'm gonna start working on the numbers now. So prime uh, 10. So that's essentially uh, trying to find the 10th prime number, which is 29. Right, and then the next prime will be oh, the next prime of 29 with 81, right? And then so prime 11 is 81, and then you can also use some logic as well. So next, sorry, prime. Which is true, right? And then I can also create a table of uh, primes. So I want to cr uh, create a table of primes from uh, num from two to thirty-one. So this is the code for that. So table so way eleven represents the eleventh uh, prime number. So here's our table of um, all the list of primes in Python, right? And then so prime So this is going to be the millionth uh, prime number on the list of primes. And then now if you want to generate a random pi, say for example, so random um, prime, sorry. So, uh, so essentially here, what's happening is um, this will will um, generate eight random prime numbers below one thousand. So there we are. And then to test for primes. So if you want to find out if a number is a prime number, so prime. And uh, let me think of a random number. Say uh, three six one random number it's false so that's not a prime number and then um, prime q so prime query query um, 31 that's indeed a prime number and then if I want to find um, a number of primes below a certain number say for example uh, 17 so prime pi So there's a uh, output of seven uh, prime numbers, and then um, factor integers. Like if you want to factor um, uh, an integer uh, as a as a number of um, primes. So here we are. So factor integer. Uh, let me think. Uh, any random number seven or two. So that's two times three cubed times the in, right? And the good thing about um, Mathematica is, since I say that you don't have to load packages, you can just do some random stuff with it. So I'm just going to do an image identify. Um, so this is our, what I want to identify a Springbok, right? So. There you go. So it tells you that's a spring ball. So you can just do random stuff. You don't have to do. Um, you don't have to um, load a package. I could even say, let's say, if I want to differentiate a, a function, so d uh, cos x. So 
see there you go so um you don't have to worry about um loading packages and stuff there it's just a case of just working whatever you want to work on you know um even if i wanted to do something like say um uh, an arithmetic function like just basic arithmetic there you go so yeah so you don't have to worry about loading packages yeah so yeah so this uh, thing was just about prime numbers and um uh, a few things that I wanted to show you guys and um, yeah if you like it just um, yeah give us a comment and um, share the video as well so yeah thank you guys for watching have a good day